what you consume is so, 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 so important. Hear me out. Yo, what's good people? Welcome to day 131 of the weight loss transformation, mindset transformation, most important of all, the lifestyle transformation. 334.8 on the scale this morning, that is another pound down, is that another pound of fat? Absolutely not. Flushing out the water because a few days ago, I went out with my girlfriend, we had pincer, drinks, whatever, and then had more drinks the next day, watched an England play, even though we were still in our calorie deficit, but still alcohol, not the best thing to be consuming, won't be doing that for a little bit. This time round though, we're still flushing out water, but I'm eating carbohydrates. We're likely going to settle in the next couple of days. And then from there, we can track and monitor the weight loss a bit better. Good thing is with eating carbohydrates again, we're not going to have these crazy flushes from zero carbs. We're going to be pulling off pure, pure fat to an extent. The majority is going to be fat. Eating enough food to sustain performance in the gym, retain muscle, and then just pull off the body fat. That's what we want to do. It doesn't matter weighing 324 pounds like I did if I'm in a very, very depleted state from zero carbohydrates and an extreme calorie deficit is pointless. So even though I'm weighing heavier now, I'm likely the same body composition. I think I look better, to be honest. You can only see many, many changes, but I think I look better. Also, one more thing I'm going to touch on quickly protein very very high today because of the chicken and obviously i eat protein throughout the day not too concerned about that amount protein has the highest thermic effect of food meaning your body burns calories to break it down however i don't really want to be eating 300 calories and i'd rather have some more fat so swapping from chicken to beef tomorrow so you'll see the protein come down fat go up i'll see you tomorrow bye right i know you've probably heard this statement before a million times over People love to say it. What you consume is so important. But seriously, I'm going to hammer it home to you people. And again, this is me talking to myself too. But what you consume is so, so important. This isn't just food. This is media, mindset, whatever you watch on YouTube, telly, like I said, news, whatever. Just what you're taking in every single day really, really can affect your mind and how you feel. And obviously, most of the time, we're well, I'm focused on mindset and food, mainly well, actually, probably mainly mindset, but food too. The food I've been consuming over the past few days, and it might sound reactionary, I understand, but I've basically been eating 90%, probably even 95% whole food. The only processed thing I have is well, almond milk, and which is not even 100 calories, and a protein shake, which is probably around 100 calories. So that's 200 calories of the 2,900 or so that I'm eating that are coming from outside sources. And maybe some sauce and the odd sugar-free like energy drink and thing. But the majority, the bulk of my day and food is whole foods. Single ingredient. Not a long list of chemicals on the back. Not products. And I'm not demonizing these things too much because... I know I'm going to have them down the line. I know I'm going to enjoy them down the line. But I recognize very, very quickly how they make me feel. And the difference I feel in just a matter of days is truly outstanding. Not that I was even eating too bad in these couple of weeks off, but I was having a fair amount of processed foods too. I was eating bags of crisps, chips. Not necessarily the massive bag, sometimes even a couple of smaller bags. That Well, I say the bags that size, you get about that much, to be honest with you. But just, I don't know, the, the bulk of my diet, I'm fueling myself appropriately because even in this time, some days I wasn't even eating enough food and I definitely wasn't eating enough protein. Not saying that protein's the be end and be end and be all. I always butcher that one for some reason. But seriously, high protein makes you feel darn good i'm telling you that but just the whole foods having the carbs as well i feel better than when i was doing the zero carbohydrates because obviously i've, I've got more energy got a different variety of foods food sources different meals throughout the day because i was doing omad it treated me very very well it is a tool i don't believe it's a lifestyle at least not for me personally i mean i could do it and i i, I do gravitate to it even when i was eating bad but that was also a mental thing i believe i was playing on myself where i would be almost rationalizing eating the food because i go oh it's just one meal it's not as bad and then i'd be so hungry by the time that i ate the meal i ate the whole menu um i'm already going off track that's what i do around here i just start spouting and going off track but just the difference and i again it can be reactionary it's only been a few days but how i just feel already is mind-blowing and not that i felt too bad before like I said, I wasn't eating too bad. Some days I wasn't eating enough, but the difference is fueling myself appropriately with balance of macros, 
high protein, getting the fruits in there as well, getting the potatoes and just just more variety. Crazy. It really is crazy. And that's not, again, to say that you can't have certain things. And if you have to do that to get through, to stick to your calorie deficit, do it. But I still believe in what I've been saying over the past couple of videos. And it's why it's so annoying. Part of me is that this is how I should have started the channel. This is how I used to be for years. And obviously, I changed as a person. I did. I wasn't improving, I was regressing, I went backwards, and I was looking for quick solutions. And that was also what took me so long to actually get the weight back off. Uh, well, get the weight off, moving in the right direction, and actually why I regained so much is because I was looking for that quick solution to try and get back to where I was, instead of actually using the fundamentals of what got me to lose the weight and maintain the weight loss, I was trying to go too hard to get back there. I was trying to chase it, trying to speed up the process, and... Miss, I, I was wrong on the channel to do that. I, I, I don't regret it to the extent that I, it did kickstart me. It did get me down the right path and get getting going. It was that magic pill that got me started. I will hold it to that. But it's not what I want to be preaching on the channel, not what I want to be promoting, and not what I want to be doing. The, the approach I'm taking now, it might sound like I found a revelation doing something new, almost... But it is something I have done for years. I'm trying to get that across too. This is how I lived for years and that's how I was able to maintain it. I know I had periods in that time, of course, where I did different things. but And I, I did utilize other tools to try and speed up little processes here and there. But I was a very different person then. I already got rid of the weight. I'm here on the channel talking about that 50 plus pounds weight that you have to lose. Obviously, I've got at least another 100 probably to lose. But that bigger, bigger weight... Is obviously a lifestyle change rather than utilizing these little handy tools that you can lose, lose, use, use to lose. So that's what I want to be promoting back on the channel is it's about health as well. It's about sustainability and it's not about speeding the process because, again, this is me talking to myself. I was trying to, I was guilty of even saying 300 pounds and I had to battle with myself, and maybe that's what even these past couple of weeks have got me to, to see, and even the journey itself. I was aiming for 300 pounds and being, right, I'm going to get there as fast as I can to improve my health, improve my life, and then from there we change, but there's no point. It, start now. Build the habits now. By the time you get to 300 pounds, it is going to be a few months. I accept it. I recognize it, and it can be try, quite tricky to swallow because I know I've got holiday in a, in a couple of months as well, looking and sometimes my head goes let's ramp up the deficit for the holiday let's ramp up the deficit for the holiday and i'll tell you exactly how that goes i will go into the holiday feeling quite good losing a good chunk of weight i won't even eat too bad on the holiday it's a holiday to be enjoyed but all inclusive they've got a good variety most of the times they've got a variety of meats most nights and then chips and just being out in the in the sun and the heat and walking around you're likely doing more activity walking and I, I don't necessarily drink too much on holiday. I know it sounds weird. Like I said, my drinking is normally... I had the issue with being at home by myself with it, when I'm with others, even when I'm out. I mean, back in the day, I used to drink a lot on nights out. I could basically drink till, till the end of the night, but that isn't the same as sitting at home alone, drinking in your room, absolutely binge drinking. That's where my issue lies. So... Anyway, I'll go on the holiday. I'll enjoy certain things. I'll eat pretty darn well, to be honest with you. I'll, I'd even eat like fruit throughout the day, all that kind of stuff. Like, not bad. And then I'd come home and I'd almost be looking forward to when I came out. I don't know why I'm getting so close to you. I'd almost be looking forward to the food I'd eat when I'm back ordering whatever I wanted when I'm back for a little bit. And then we'll get started again. Of course we will. Going into these holidays absolutely hungry. Again, it is different. It is different if you've already lost, if you've only got to lose a little bit to try and tidy up before your holiday. That's not what I'm talking about. I'm still in my head was like, let's try and pull off 40 pounds before this holiday. I'll feel so much better if I lose this 40 pounds. I know that 40 pounds are coming straight back and I'll struggle to get back on it when I'm back. So nipping that in the in in the bud already. That's kind of hard mentally. Well, it's, it's, it's not been too hard for me to accept this time around, but it's definitely something I, I, I dealt with before. And even just looking at the time, I made a video a few days ago talking about it's going to take as long as it's going to take. And it is, there is absolutely no point in rushing the process because you will put it back on. I am telling you, 95% of people will put it back on. 
might take a few years as well. It might take a few years to put it back on. But if you're really, really rushing going down, you're likely, one, not even going to reach your destination, and two, it's likely going to come back. If you're going to have to change too much, what you're going to do by the time you're at your leanest, it's going to come back. So how I lost the weight, I've said it a few times before. The first time I tracked calories, I did start in a in a very steep deficit actually to get me going. I was eating about 1,600 calories, weighing 300 and something plus pounds, and I was going to the gym and stuff at that point. But that was sheer willpower that got me through. I was hungry. I was going to bed hungry. But I was so, so motivated to get the weight off. As I was getting into the gym and starting to consume better content and learn how how the body works and actually eating for performance is very, very important and to keep that lower deficit. I bumped my calories up to like two and a half thousand. It was still fairly low. It was still probably lower than I should have been at that time. But ate of that and then pulled it down slowly so yeah I, I was a bit guilty of eating too little at some points in that first journey but then did understand eating for fuel and performance and trying to at that point I was building muscle I was building a lot of muscle because I was a beginner as well and I wanted to make use of the beginner status and actually eating enough protein and food to sustain muscle building while pulling off the fat is that going to happen for me this time? Maybe I haven't been training as much as I'd like. With that's changing next week, so still the plan for me is to maintain as much muscle mass as possible. Maybe even build some, and just pull off the body fat. The scale isn't going to tell the whole story here. If you are lifting weights in the gym, and I've seen it in my comments, and I've seen it countless amount of times, if you are lifting weights and in the gym, the scale isn't going to tell the full story. It doesn't. Over time it will, yes, over time it will, but even in two, three, three weeks, it could not change. It could not change. However, you will feel a hundred times better. You may look a hundred times better as well. And that is what we're here to do. The scale is one thing. That's why I haven't really cared about the scale for a couple of weeks because we had these crazy fluctuations. The numbers on the scale right now don't really mean too much to me. It's how I feel day to day. And there's something to it as well. I, I can feel like... I just feel good and I feel like I'm burning the fat. I can almost feel it in my stomach. It's not like I'm I'm hung. Well, I, 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 if you gave me bad food, I, I could easily eat it. I could easily eat more food, but I am satiated. I am satisfied, but there's something about it. Feeling light in the stomach. And this is from eating a fair amount of food, but it's real food that your body can actually break down and use and absorb doesn't play with your emotions too much that's what i find with a lot of junk food you can sometimes it's the it's the dopamine receptors and it's crazy to me how i almost have two different mindsets almost two different people because i feel like in a matter of days i've tapped into my old brain tapped into how i used to feel for years just in a matter of days and it's interesting because this is also part of the battle i speak about the struggles here and how to my whole thing as well is obviously losing the weight but it's preventing the regain it's looking at those moments that it literally is a split second decision that can throw you off track and send you down a rabbit hole it's trying to mitigate that as much as possible that's what I'm trying to explore and I do believe it is, it is fairly tricky but the brain pathways that you make the habits that you build they're always there and this is bad or good habits and it's quite funny how acting in a certain way the actions you take on a certain way can almost light up the brain and start to strengthen those again i find myself just doing stuff that i used to do the, these few years ago without even thinking about it and that's activity wise or just even my mindset it is crazy how eating these foods whole foods fueling myself just changes my outlook on life in general my outlook on life on general, just how I think. I'm looking forward to the future already. I'm trying to plan certain things. I have a lust for life already, immediately again. Not that it wasn't too bad before, but something changed immediately. I'm looking to improve. I'm wanting to get better every single day. And I'm telling you, that is what comes from what you consume. And this is crazy to me as well, because I, I was struggling a bit, even on the channel. I didn't speak about it too much. It wasn't as bad as it was before. But sometimes I'll go through like negative thoughts or still kind of thinking what's the point in it all what's the point in life it doesn't really matter how do people get so locked in or focused behind something i want some and this is what i was trying to find in the channel when i started it like i wanted something that can consume me that i can work on and almost essentially be my purpose because i was living purposeless and 
when you don't have something to look forward to or work towards, it is very, very hard to get motivated. I understand you have to find your why. And why I'm speaking like that is when I was in the negative emotions, the negative thought place, I was thinking, what's the point in even trying to feel good? It doesn't matter. What's the point? What's the point? There's no point to anything. I didn't really enjoy anything. I didn't see any enjoyment in anything. I just thought it was almost fake. I don't know if that's the right words, but that's coming from a negative place and consuming negative stuff that is obviously bad for you as well. And that's coming from food and alcohol for the most part. It does something to your brain 100%. It's some, it's in your gut. They, they're saying now, and they have been for a few years, to be honest, like the anxiety, the, the depression, it all comes, it's coming from your gut. And, and I, I believe that because I've experienced it in a matter of days. Not that I was feeling bad in this time, but I still had old bouts, like I said, of kind of questioning, is it all worth it? Why are we doing it? What's the point of even being here? Why are we even alive? It doesn't really matter. It doesn't matter if I do good or bad because I'm going to end up not here. I know it sounds absolutely kind of terrible. And what's crazy is I know how to break it as well. I know exactly how to break it. And I think the the light I was holding on to is I know, and it sounds very, very s- stupid, and we are very, very simple creatures at the fundamental base of it, is that, I know this day you say, doing something physical, doing a bit of activity, literally shifts your mind. It, it really, really does. It sounds ridiculous, but it really, really does. If you're stuck in your bedroom like I was, and this is even with a girlfriend and everything, and I had a good paying job, I had a girlfriend, so my life should be, should be great, and I was sat here sadder than I've ever... P- being in my life is that you can get stuck you can become that hermit you can i don't know it's that bubble that you can get stuck in and i was like you you don't want to break it but it's the hardest thing in the world it really is but you just got to take those little steps hold on to that glimmer of hope little steps easier is with the food that you consume you don't even have to leave the environment just something that you can consume the state change they say I don't even know where I'm going with this. I need to start. I really, really do, people. I need to start planning this stuff out and get my thoughts across properly. But it's it's crazy how simple I can go from thinking, what's the point in anything, to actually taking a little bit of action and consuming it. And I can't believe I had those thoughts. I can't believe I had those thoughts. And I recognize these thoughts are going to come again. Of course they are. But there's ways to combat them. Simple. Bit of sun bit of sunlight, bit, a little bit of movement and consuming the right foods flips your mindset. It really, really does. And that's not to say, again, processed foods in moderation, of course. Even if you have to eat them day to day, but you're in your calorie deficit, I guarantee you'll feel better too. Is it all because I feel like I'm working towards something now? I've got the steps in place. I've got the calories in place. I know I'm in the deficit. I know what's going to come from being in the deficit. I know the results are going to come. Is that why? Maybe. But I'm telling you, it's something to do with the gut. It's something to do with how that speaks to your brain. And it is that sense of knowing you're doing something that you should be, I think is the biggest thing of all. And it's building the momentum. It's taking the steps. I've said from the very start of the channel, the very, very start of the channel, you don't have to change the world overnight. You absolutely do not. But if you can take those little steps every single day, even if it's tiny, even if you switch from full fat, I don't know why they call it fat, full sugar Coke to the diet Coke, I don't want to hear any arguments about how bad these artificial sweeteners and stuff for you. I am telling you 100% right now, you losing body weight will do the best for your health over anything you could possibly do. Pulling off the body fat will do better for your health than absolutely anything. And that is not to say absolutely rush it off your body because we have to think long term here, five, 10 years down the line thinking, lifestyle changes. I need to stop drinking my energy drink before I make these videos. Long term is what we're looking at. I, I've lost my train of thought immediately as well. It's not a matter of pulling it off as fast as possible as well, which I mean, pre- it's the long term sustainability. If you can feel good every single day in what you do and still be on your journey, still be in your deficit, still be losing weight, look at it as an opportunity to nourish yourself as well. That's how my mindset has changed with the food already immediately two is the whole foods nourish me they actually taste amazing to me taste amazing to me they will make you feel great and i know it's not a revelation it's very very obvious and people preach it but this is coming from someone who has obviously used and abused food had a transformation as well and 
ended up falling off after years. And why? Got lazy with it. Wasn't taking these steps. Wasn't tracking my food. Not necessarily that you have to track forever after you lose the weight. But I was consuming junk. I wasn't being as active. Being in a negative more mind way, I started to consume other things that I like mentally that shouldn't be consuming. Looking at the news and stuff more, hearing people gossip about rubbish, absolute rubbish. Cut it all out, man. A lot of the time, I don't care what people have to say on certain things. It just doesn't. It doesn't matter. I know it feels good. We're humans. We need to be moving, consuming the right foods. Move, walk. It's crazy how how it will change your life. It seriously will. And I know this is me speaking after a few days, but I have got years behind of experience and it's just crazy how quickly I can tap into my old brain pathways likely that I have built. And that's also to say what I wanted to touch on is the negative ones will still be there. They still will be there. It'll be very, very easy to tap into them. I know, I think that's how I ended up in my worst position ever was because I tapped into the way of thinking, the way of living that got me to 300 and I I don't know how much it was, 340, 350, I think, pounds in the first place back when I was younger. And a big chunk of that was put on over a couple of years as well. I was fairly big for a little bit, but not like mega, mega big. And then that came on in like a year or two. And that was from being unhappy again and, and using food as the vice. So that for me is obviously how I can get in that position and to break that, and this is my plea to you, if you are stuck, go outside, just have a walk. It sounds ridiculous. Go outside and have a walk in the sun, if possible. It's crazy how breathing in the air, it is, it's nuts, it's nuts. And I'm, t- I'm talking to myself here. That's why we've got to build these habits that we make sure we do these every single day. Build the habits to make sure you get out the house even just for a little bit. Even if you work from home and whatever, like I used to do as well, I wouldn't leave the house unless it was go to the shop. Nope. Sometimes you have to make that rule with yourself. You have to. You have to live by it. Unfortunately, it's not too difficult, not too strenuous. These are little steps you can take. And like I said, if you can consume more whole foods, get that protein in there, you'll feel 100% better. And again, a lot of this is me projecting and talking to myself in this camera and I know people can resonate and relate like I said it's, it's crazy what you consume how, how it can make you feel really can I, I find myself I've probably gone on too long again already but I find myself already <sighs> I, I've started to there's something about it immediately I like looking at American football players NFL American football players college players I like I don't necessarily watch the matches. They're all too late for me. But if you don't know, I was actually born in America. And you wonder why I've got like CU buff stuff. I was born in Colorado. My parents are English. Well, my grandma's Norwegian actually. So my mum's half Norwegian. I'm a quarter. So born in America, British, like family bar. My grandma's Norwegian. So fun fact. So, but my dad, obviously, they, they lived there for a bit and he'd go to games or whatever. And they, I don't know. There's something about American football, Matt. It's the mindset. It is that mindset that really motivates me, really, really inspires me. I do watch it on occasion and I do like it. I do like it. But for me, it's the behind the scenes stuff that I absolutely love. And what I absolutely love about it too is that they've got so much out there. They've got the TV shows, All or Nothing, um, even Last Chance You, all these things. But it's, it's the mindset, it's the dedication and it's about being your best self. That's what it is and living for something, building something. And to me, that's always been so, I don't know, I'm just fascinated by it. I'm fascinated by it. So I've been consuming a lot of that again recently as well. It's immediately how I take a couple actions and then I want to learn more of it. I want to see more of it. It keeps me locked in. So that's probably all I've got to say on this. But just suddenly, it's just crazy how quickly, how quickly your outlook can absolutely change are there going to be times where it does the opposite of course it is but we know how to get out of it be a little bit active make sure you're consuming the right stuff that's basically how you snap yourself out of it but i've heard enough of my own voice now absolute rambling i do i do apologize i want to get these i will get videos more concise 
But hopefully people do appreciate me just putting it out here on the line without planning anything, just kind of what comes to mind. So I'll see you tomorrow for the next one, people. Onwards and upwards. Man, these are too long, aren't they? Damn.